I would have expected more sweetness. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we are going to look at the second whiskey from the FEW distillery. I think I made a mistake in the first video. I was not, uh, called it FEV. That's a German pronunciation. So the second one is the bourbon. And for the bourbon, it has to have different regulations. So this time we know it has more than 50% corn in it. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find the um, the mash bill, so we don't really know exactly what is inside this bottle. It's also small batch, and here is the batch number on the side, 1412. Yeah, at least I think it's 1412. It's the imperial way of write writing. You know, when you have the one is just the line and the seven is the line with a little little uptick and we write that a little different. Uh, they also say it's uh, in aged charred oak barrels. No, handcrafted in small batches and aged in charred oak barrels. And aged in charred new oak barrels less than four years it written on the bottom. Um, yeah, they also say it's it's kind of the, the southern tradition which comes from the bourbon meets the northern rye. I think down in, in Kentucky and uh, what's it called, uh, Tennessee, they don't really have that rye. That rye come really is grown Illinois and more upwards and northwestwards. So you, you go back, you go even further to Canada, like back to Alberta, what's before that, Saskatchewan and Dakota, I think has some stuff. And what's it called? No, Michigan is the other way. What's between Dakota and Illinois? I'm not, I'm not that big into geography of America. I can even hardly handle the geography of Germany. So, um, but what is really nice is that picture here. You have the state of the, Re uh, statue of the Republic. And that's actually a picture from the the uh, world's what's it called world's Colombian exposition of 1893. And these people here from the FEW distillery, they are really proud of the heritage from Illinois. They are northern people, and they are proud of the Chicago of Chicago as well, and what um, what's behind all this stuff. So, I think. Enough said, it's again 46.5% ABV, that's 93 proof. Um, let's have a look what, what's inside this uh, northern bourbon. It's not a southern style bourbon, it's a northern style bourbon with southern traditions. I would have expected more sweetness. It's a... Is that cold? No, it's warm. I do get a bit of a, a fresh citric note and very, very subtle sweetness. Am I doing something wrong with the smelling today? No, it's just a very subtle sweetness. A little bit flowery. If that tastes like it smells, then it will be a very uncommon bourbon. As was what they say, it's a bourbon of uncommon complexity. The taste is very, very mild and not as straightforward to sweet as all the other bourbons. Mmm. 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 
Ooh. Interesting. You have more sweetness than in the nose, but the sweetness is very subtle. Bit of a stinging sensation from the alcohol. You also get a bit of a, a dried smoky note. So a bit of an ash note as well. Mm. Mm, interesting. It's it definitely is not the typical bourbon. If you if you'd compare this to a typical bourbon, mm, you would get something else. So my estimate is that the corn content of this bourbon is the is close to the minimum what they have to put in. So I would I would say this is I don't know. 55% corn or 60% corn because you do get a little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla, but very, very subtle. The The emphasis here, I would say, is more into the rye. It has a, a distinct rye note. So mm. You get a, a few peppery notes. Mm, now they're a bit more intense. Um, citric notes, bit of a ash dry smokiness. There's, I have to say, this uncommon complexity. I was just thinking this was a mm, a marketing blur, but it is classified as a bourbon but from from my point of view and the taste i would say it's more of a intermediate between rye and a bourbon mm. it's it's a good mixture mm. in the end a little bit of of bitterness and a little bit of a, a youth note but it's a a very interesting bourbon not the typical bourbon for all you hardcore typical bourbon fans. So if you found this video interesting, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to have all the whiskeys of the world tasted for you four or five times a week. Thank you very much for watching.